Welcome everyone, this is Donald the Repentless again, with episode 3 of Life of an Inventory Auditor. With this episode I'm going to talk briefly about my history in the inventory industry. Now, when back in 1995, I was working for Thunderbird Car Wash in Pocatello. Uh, my mom got a job with WIS International which is like the first or second, I, I don't know exactly if it's Regis or Wiss, that's the largest. But I applied for this job and I started working with Wiss. And I'm going to tell some of these stories later on, but there was a bunch of crazy shit that was going on in Wiss. And there was a lot of office politics that was going on. And the office politics kind of made the experience not that good for me. Um, added to that, you know, I was getting plenty of work through through WIS. I was, in fact, in those early days, it wasn't uncommon for me to go to work like at one o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday and literally not get back from the job until like one o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday. And that's without staying at a hotel. Sometimes we did. Um, but oftentimes it was literally 24 hours where the only sleep I would get would be like in the van on the way to or on the way from the work assignment. And with like Regis, I mean, I travel all over the place in Idaho, Utah, um, Wyoming, and... I think I, even Colorado, but I only only worked there for about a year before I well, I not only quit re, uh, WIS at that time, but I also quit Thunderbird Car Wash after six years of working for them. So I applied for Regis, and I remember meeting Diane at the um, job service building here in town. And going through the orientation and all that stuff. And going to work for them. Now, just keep in mind that during this time, I would keep the chapter about 2001, 2002. Um, what happened was Diane stepped down as area manager. And a guy named Craig took over. Now, Craig played favorites. And he had his little pets that he worked all the time. Um, I'd call him up every week to see if there was any work, and, I, and after a while, I got tired of calling this guy and being told there was no work. So basically, I stopped calling in, and within a few months, maybe a year, I, I got a job at Convergys. So I worked with Convergys for four and a half years. Then I bounced around between, like, teleperformance, um, Mountain West Research and Burnett Research, all of which were phone room jobs. But Burnett, I got tired of it because I it was tired of being yelled at by people. Um, and it was a stressful job because I don't like particularly talking on the phone to people. Um, it's amazing that I was able to last four and a half years at Convergys. Because, like I said, I don't particularly like talking to people on the phone, but that was my job, is to talk to people who called in about their um, DirecTV service. And I did that for four and a half years. And like I said, after bouncing around between um, Teleperformance, Mountain West, and Burnett Research, um, one day I decided to just sort of, on a whim, I, I applied on the Regis site. And a couple of days later, Diane calls on the phone and says, basically, if you want to work, come in tomorrow, be at, at Fred Myers at, at 5 o'clock in the morning. So I showed up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I had my shirt still. Um, I think I had a belt and everything. So she has me this new machine, the RM1, because up until that point, I had only worked with the audits that they had for a long time. 
and put me to work. And I, I learned how to use the RM1 basically by saying, um, how do I transmit? How do I, how do I search back? How do I do this and how do I do that? So, again, you know, I started working with Regis. And for a long time, I was getting pretty good hours until um, I think it was 2013 when I went into the hospital with um, heart failure. So since then, because the management, Diane, Pam, and um, Jesse, know that I have this health issue, and even Ronson knows that I have this, these health issues, issues, they don't work me nearly as much as they used to. Um, and the reason why I say it's because of my health issues is because I have had some some conversations with people and, well, the management, you know, and um, the people who, you know, especially Diane and Pam, they had known me for years. I don't know if they like me as a person or if they just understand my situation, but they've always been professional with me. They've always been good managers, band managers and supervisors. So anyways, um, that's just a rambling little history of my time working in the um, inventory industry. So if you like this video, thumbs up it, share it on social media, um, subscribe to my channel if you want more stories about inventory and in the inventory industry. This is Donald the Repentless signing off and be awesome everybody. Mm -hmm.